What's going on, y'all? Today, we're doing this pair of Justin boots. Now, as you can see on this pair of Justins, the owner has completely worn down the toe of both of these boots. The welt has been completely destroyed on one of them. And then on the left boot, you see that he apparently tried to glue the sole back on at one point. So we're definitely going to redo all of that, make it look a lot better, completely put on new welts, different soles, and just polish these up and make them look a lot better. So, all right, so let's get out to the shop and get started. Shank, fiberglass, wiggling around, and uh, more carpet padding. All right, it's actually me. I'm gonna do the cleaning this time. Usually it's Trent on this side, but uh, I'm going to get these a little bit cleaned up before we put on the welts. And you know, if it's got some dirt and some grunge, which these look like they're some, uh, some work boots, then it's better to usually do that on the, on the front end before you start putting stitches and all that on there. So let's get these things cleaned up. Okay, we're about to put some cushion back into this boot. And like Heath mentioned before, you see the carpet <laughs> type stuff. And I say that because it realistically looks like the foam that you put underneath your carpet. Um, taking that junk out. And we're going to, instead of put cork in there, because he's used to, you know, some, some cushion foam. And so we're just gonna put crepe in there. And uh, we'll mark this down to size, glue it in, and that way he'll have a little bit more of a pad feel that he's used to. And, uh, you know, that's why we're going with this. You know, guys, we are around leather all day long. And one of the things that people say when they come into our shop for the first time is, oh, I just love the smell of leather. Well, I do too. But you know what? I don't always want to smell like leather when I go home in the afternoon. And that's why I have been using Scentbird for several months now. And they happen to be today's video sponsor. Scentbird is a monthly online subscription-based business that lets you go onto their website and try out different colognes and perfumes each month. Depending on what you sign up for, you can try anything from one, two, three different colognes or perfumes. You simply go onto their website, you take a quiz, you tell them what types of fragrances and smells you like, and it will open up an entire host of fragrances out there. And these are, and I'm talking about the large brands as well, the ones that you see all throughout the mall. There are a lot of different perfumes and colognes to try. Now guys, what you do is you pick out what specific colognes you wanna try, they mail it to you, they come in this great little, uh, almost like an atomizer, and it comes in a case, you simply drop it down into that case, and it twists, and it rolls up and down, and it is that simple, and then you just spray it. And you know, they're so small, I have some in my gym bag, I keep some here at work, 
They're just, they're perfect. And the other great thing about this guys, like I said, is you get to try them out. So instead of just going to the mall and you drop a hundred bucks or more on one bottle and you may end up not liking it or it may not sit well with your skin after about eight hours and you're like, why did I spend all that money? Well, now you can try out the different colognes or perfumes that you've always wanted to try. And it's, they say that they come in like little 30 day trial packs. Well, what I have found is I've gotten so many of them over the months that they wound up actually lasting quite a bit longer than that. So it is a great idea. Now guys, this is one of the colognes that I got last month. It is called Get A Room by Confessions of a Rebel. And, oh man, it just smells amazing. It is light, it's crisp, it almost smells like the beach. And it is the perfect summer scent. I also got uh, Brioni by Brioni, um, a couple of fragrances uh, by Floris of German Street. Just a, an amazing amount of fragrances. So guys, definitely go check them out. Now, because you guys watch our channel and we really appreciate it, um, we are going to hook you up with a discount on your first month's subscription with Scentbird. If you use the code TH55, they will give you 55% off your first month. Again, guys, that is TH55 for 55% off your first month. Guys, just go down to the Dropbox below, use that link that is provided, and uh, type in that code TH55 again for 55% off. Thanks again for to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, the uh, boot we went ahead and put glue on here, glue on the soles. We're going to go ahead and heat these up, stick them, press them, stitch them, and then we'll just about be done. We'll add the heels and that's about it. So let's get these pressed and stitched. Okay, so the boots are done, but now we want to recondition these boots. We're not gonna do a lot with them. Uh, these are a work boot and they're gonna get dirty again, uh, but we do wanna put um, you know, a lot of conditioning agents back into these leathers. So this is an oiled leather boot um, and that's what we wanna put on there. We've got a couple of different kinds, so let's go over there and I'll show you which one that I'm gonna choose for this pair of boots. Okay, so we've got the oiled leather cream. Uh, I use that a lot, does a good job, but on this case, I think I'm gonna go with the oiled leather cream. It just has higher color pigment content in it, and these boots are pretty scuffed up, so I wanna make sure we get a lot of that brown back in there to really cover up those scuffs. So let's go and get this on there. All right, guys, like I've said before in other videos, I like to use the neutral color creams anytime there's white stitching because I don't want to risk coloring in that stitching. Okay guys, we're done. So before we show you what this pair of Justin boots looks like, uh, just a couple of quick reminders as always. If you're not following us on Instagram, check us out at Potter and Sons. We post a lot more before and after pics of shoes throughout the week. Also, if you're looking for any shoe care or boot care products, uh, definitely check out Potter and Sons. We also have a lot of our new leather goods on there and uh, some pretty cool things that are coming your way on that website. So again, check us out, potterandsons.com. And then one quick reminder, 
It is Mother's Day tomorrow, and for all of you guys that have uh, forgotten, uh, check us out at southernpolish.com, which is also our other company. It is our sandal company, and there are a lot of really cool looking lady sandals on there. It's a little too late to get them to you by tomorrow, but you can always get a gift card, gift which cards. will be sent to her email box. So you go wrong with a gift card. Absolutely not. All right, let's check out this pair of Justin's. All right, so as you can see, the before that toe was completely worn, uh, it was all the way up into the welt, and uh, one was trying was attempted to be glued back. It pairs to that way, but um, there wasn't anything left of the sole at the toe, and pretty much any of the welts. So it all had to be redone. New welts. Uh, it was a miniature storm welt. So it wasn't like a really high wall on that. We actually cut it down so we could mimic the original welt, which was uh, rubber or plastic. Mm -hmm. Then we put on some Vibram V-Tread and then capped it off with the Vibram V-Tread one piece heels. So mm -hmm. uh, it was a pretty simple resole, but instead of that crepe, he's gonna have a, a sole that's gonna last a lot longer and pretty easy, but looks good. Yep. Okay, y'all. That just about does it. Again, we appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, y'all have a good one.